I'm not gonna waste your time, let me tell you how to blur a texture in the easiest way possible. So basically I got a plane and then a material with an image texture that I want to blur. This can also be a noise or anything else. So behind the scenes, this uses some kind of texture coordinate. You can have this be object coordinates or UV. This is what I want to blur or distort before it comes to the image. Here's literally the easiest way to do this. Take a white noise texture and connect it so that the color goes to the vector. In fact, this is already blurred. It's just so heavily blurred that it looks like a single color. And we're just going to take this and make it a bit more subtle. So I'm going to mix this with the original coordinate system and then just bring this number down. And all of a sudden, we can actually blur this thing. Only thing about this technique is you got to keep the number uh, pretty small. You can swap out the coordinate system. This works in the general 2D or 3D case. If you don't use UV coordinates, you're going to notice that it kind of shifts to the bottom left corner. If you are getting that outside of UV coordinates, you can subtract 0.5 and now this is going to blur uh, better. The reason that works, by the way, is this white noise is adding between 0 and 1 on the X, Y, and Z randomly, which means on average, we got to take it back 0.5 in each dimension. And if you're curious more so to how this works, I want you to imagine we have a coordinate system like UV, and we use some kind of procedural noise on this, let's say Voronoi texture. It's going to generate a bunch of colors, which you can think of as random directions that we're going to sample this image from. And as you bring that down, 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 it's going to start being very kind of like a fine grain. So I can just kind of swap this in over here and we're going to get again a blur, but a very kind of pixelated blur that we don't really like the look of. This is where white noise comes in. It's basically a procedural texture that is so fine and so detailed that no matter how much you zoom in, you can't see it. It's actually just noise all the way down. And I took this idea and turned it into a nice node group. So this is called blur coordinates. You literally put in your coordinate system, put it into the image, and now you can see it has this uh, nice blur. This one has a bit more bells and whistles. And this blur coordinates node that I just showed you is part of a pack that I just added to B3D tools. It has things like a timer. So you can actually have timing information in the shader, Cartesian polar, tile coordinates. You don't need to add only two things at the same time. B3D tools is basically an asset pack that I seem to be adding things to every single day. Added a shader tool operator section that has a bunch of these, including blur coordinates. There you go. Fastest technical tutorial for blurring in the world. Check out B3D Tools. It's a website. It's in the description and it will get more expensive every time I add things to it. So get it now while, while it is cheap.